My lord, why do you stay so distant? Why do you shut your eyes to times of need? In arrogance, the wicked individual aggressively pursues those in need. Let him be trapped in the schemes which he has planned for the needy. For the wicked one rejoices in the cravings of his soul, and he breaks away, blessing himself while discarding the Lord. In his pretentiousness, the wicked one thinks an accounting is not required. In all his scheming, there is no God. His ways will be successful. At all times, my Lord, your high decisions, judgments, and laws are far from him. He scoffs at all his enemies. He says to himself, I am secure. I will not falter. I am protected from misfortune. His mouth is full of cursing, fraud, and oppression. Under his tongue lies the source of another's need and impending disaster. He sits in ambush near the villages, and from his secret hiding place, he ruthlessly kills the blameless. His eyes always search for the unhappy helpless. He lies in ambush, in his hiding place, as a lion crouched and hidden in a thicket. He lies in ambush to catch the needy, and he catches them as he pulls them into his net. The disheartened are crushed by his mighty strengths. They cower and they fall. The wicked one says to himself, God has forgotten them. He hides his face. He will not see what I do. Ever. Arise, my Lord. My God. Raise your hand to strike back. To do something. Do not forget those who are humbly bowed before you. On what basis does the wicked one discard God? On what basis has he convinced himself that you will not require an accounting for what he has done? For you do see the harm and the vexation You do look upon these in order to take them into your hand, to become involved and require that accounting. The helpless, leave it in your hands. They entrust it into your keeping. For you have been the one who assists the fatherless, the ones who cannot help themselves. Shatter the strength of evil and of the evil one. Require an accounting of his offenses. Do not allow him to escape this. The Lord is King. He reigns forever and ever. Wicked people are carried off from his land. My Lord, you have heard the longings of those humbly bowed before you. You are intent upon their hearts. You cause your ear to attend to them. You vindicate the fatherless and the oppressed. The people of your land will never be terrified again.